with the 94th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. The Arizona Cardinals select What's up guys? Uh, my name is Michael Wilson. I played wide receiver at Stanford. Could be a big day. I don't know if I'm getting drafted today or tomorrow. And right now I'm headed to San Dimas to work out at 7 a.m. I usually work out at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. Four, four times a week. Um, so we had to get up at 4.30 and we're gonna get a speed session in. And after that, we're gonna work on some legs and explosion in the weight room. Um, and then from there, we're gonna go work out with TJ Hushmanzada, who's my receiver trainer. He played 12 years in the league. I just feel like you gotta continue like it's business as usual. Um, just because I could get drafted today, it doesn't mean I don't need to work out or continue working hard. I think common thing would be when you reach your dream to stop working, but I feel like you gotta keep doing the things that even allowed you to be in this position in the first place. So just, I just gotta stay, stay disciplined, keep going. Let's let the main man tell us what we just did. So we just did some speed endurance stuff today. You know, we're done with all the speed training, so now we're just able to maintain everything, getting ready for camp. Now we're about to head over to the gym and get this real work. Just because I might get drafted today, I feel like doesn't mean I can just stop working. I think where guys go at fault is when they get to the top, they. Uh, they stop working as hard and doing the things that got them to be in that position in the first place. Just because I'm in a position where I might be able to have my name called, like that doesn't exclude me from working hard. Cause while I'm, if I was just at home chilling, there's other guys that that's getting it in, so. I was out for 12 months content like straight and then broke my collarbone last year so I only played 14 games in the last two years. It's like the harder I work the more unlucky I got. I could have made up so many excuses to fold up and you know just sit down like why is this happening. I was able to lean on my support system, keep my head down and just keep working working and believing that all the work I was going to put in finally was going to pay off. And then I feel like everything just kind of, the doors opened for me at the senior bowls. Like that was when everyone was like, okay, Mike's really, really good. Another guy uh, that has looked good in the early going is, uh, is a wide receiver. So this is Michael Wilson. It took all of two reps that I saw from him to be like, all right, ball player. Yep, this kid's good. If I didn't have a senior bowl I had, I knew there was a possibility that I was not gonna get drafted. And my goal was I wanted to show everyone that I was the best one there and one of the best receivers in college football when I'm healthy. And I think I, I think I did that. Uh, I might, I don't want to think. Yeah, that one's shocking. So we're going to go right, left, right. We're going one, two in between that one and this one. I've been working with TJ since 2020. When, it, when an NFL great believes in you, I had no choice but to have confidence in myself because from the very first moment I got there, he was like, bro, you're nice. Every time someone would ask him about me, he'd still say the same thing. Like, Mike's one of the best receivers in the country that nobody knows about. Turn, turn. There you go, there you go. So they gonna tell you how they plan by how they line up. We already know. Okay, go Mike. Watch Mike and go after him. Look at his back foot. I know. You gonna come through tonight? Yeah, what time? No, what time is it? It starts at four, but I, I don't think I'll get drafted until. So. Yeah, I'm gonna come. He got basketball from three to four. Oh, yeah. 
And then when we done, I just me and him, we just go roll through. Right, you got the address, right? Yep. All right. Yeah. Simi Valley. Simi Valley. I met Sophia at, at 18 in August of 2018. So yeah, she was at Stanford. She was one of the best women's soccer players, but I didn't even know much about women's soccer when I met her. I just thought she was beautiful and I knew right away, like this is a girl that I can't let pass me up. So it just feels good like when, just to have people that truly, truly believe in you regardless of the circumstance or what you're going through. I think everyone needs people in their corner to back them up when, when times get hard or when adversity strikes. Like you need those people. And so it, it's gonna mean the world if, if it happens tonight and she can be there. Honestly, I'm not really big into fashion, but I, I knew like today was a special day, so I had to put something on, especially with the video crew people here. Uh, so yeah, I'm just y'all can just get ready with me. But yeah, just going with the basic white tee. Um, but the real sort of piece of the of this fit is this uh, Ami Paris jacket, uh, this bomber jacket. So just got to work with this. My favorite color is just black, so. Felt like I had to be in something black and white because that's just what I like. I'm honestly, like my heart, I'm really nervous right now. I can't lie, I'm really, really nervous. Just because I don't know if I'm going to go today or tomorrow. Um, and I want it to be today, but that stuff's out of my control. So I think sometimes that makes me more nervous because I have no control over the situation. And it's such a life-changing moment that like you don't know when you're going to go. You don't know what city you're going to go to where you're gonna be living for the next, I don't know how many years of my life. So uh, I think this is like a big, even talking about it right now, my heart is starting to, my heart rate is starting to race. So I'm super, super nervous. Yeah, the watch, uh, yeah, this, my uncle gave me this watch. So anytime I have like a nice little event, I put this bad boy, I feel like it matches the earring. So, you know, I can't go, I got silver and silver, so. I feel like I might cry just because it's, it is really emotional and I know how much he's, gone through to get to this point and like how much adversity we've seen each other at our very very worst time so to see just a good happy time for him I yeah I might cry we'll see I think once the draft starts my heart I, I, I might be a wreck I'm gonna be so nervous the 2023 NFL draft is now officially open there's a lot of good football players that you don't get the opportunity to play in the NFL so I'm just gonna feel super fortunate super blessed that I do have that opportunity. I faced a lot of adversity with injuries and stuff, and there's times where I started to doubt myself, started to question, like, man, am I ever gonna play in the league? Started to question if it's ever gonna work out, if I'm ever gonna get the respect I feel like I deserve. So just the fact that I'm able to be in this position is a blessing, so I'm definitely not gonna take it in for granted. I'm, I'm gonna savor the moment for as long as I can, but obviously when I get my name called, I, gotta, I have to earn everything after that. Hello? Uh, is this Michael? Yes, this is Michael. Hey, Michael, this is Monty Osport, the uh, GM at the Arizona Cardinals. How you doing, bud? What's going on? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Where are you at right now? I'm just at home in uh, Simi Valley. Yeah, I just got family and friends here. Family and friends, okay. Well, yes, sir. Michael, you're about to have some good news for him, buddy. Uh, <laughs> All we're, right. We're on the clock right now. We're about to make you an Arizona Cardinal. Ah, uh, man. That's exciting, man. I can't. Thank you so much. I... Hey, hey, we like everything you're about, okay? Yes, sir. You're physical. You know how to run around. You catch the ball, okay? Yes, sir. This is an exciting night for you and your family, all right? Michael, congratulations. Thank you so much. I promise I did. You just guys got the steal of the draft. Well, thank you so much for taking me. We think we got the steal of the draft, too. Michael, how you doing, buddy? What's going on, Coach? I'm... I'm feeling real good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. We love what you're about, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much for picking me. Excellent. Yeah. Been great here, man. Set yeah. Home, brother. Thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much. All right. Yes, sir. Take care. All right. <laughs>
With the 94th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Michael Wilson. <laughs> These are my most important people in my life could be here. It truly means the world. So I, I mean, I'm, this is like, I feel like there's certain moments in life where you reach a certain level of happiness. Like this is one of them that only a few times in your life you'll reach. It was just such a relief. And um, it was just like all these, all this sacrifices and hard work and blood, sweat and tears. Um, just is released. It was the one of the best feelings I've ever had, really, ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. It was just as this feeling was just as good as when he was born. I think I'm just super proud. I think today was the perfect embodiment of who Michael is. You know, he puts in the work. He's the man in the arena. No one in that draft can say they've prepared more and put more of their life, I think, into football and getting drafted. I'm just. Super proud of him and excited to see what he does with that next chapter of his life now. You have turned over every single stone and done everything in your power, and this is so deserving, and yeah, I'm just so excited for you, and I love you. Better days are ahead. I've been yeah. here for three plus years, but... Better days are ahead. Better days are ahead. Okay, I love you. I love you. Come.